There is no delicate way to put this. Port-au-Prince looks and smells like a dump, because it is. Ten months after the earthquake, the city has degenerated into a filthy cauldron of water, garbage, and human waste. The garbage situation has always been a problem here, but now no one pays any attention to where they dump it, and the government makes virtually no effort to pick it up. But the stakes are higher now. As cholera stalks the city, these are the conditions that so worry health experts. Just look, patients desperate for water collect it from a pipe right next to a burning collection of waste. The city is like an open garbage pit. This is a central canal. It cuts right through the middle of the city and garbage of all descriptions flows right through it. But they scavenge through it, the morsels of food or garbage they can sell. All the while, animals are on the hunt too. I want you to take a look over here to where um, this gentleman is uh, scavenging. Look at this garbage. Can you even estimate how many plastic bottles there are in here and everything else? Imagine the filth under there. The big issue here is we talk about a cholera outbreak. We talk about um, sanitation. How is sanitation possible? This is a major thoroughfare in um, the city and it's piled high with garbage, garbage that no one ever seems to collect. Now Jose is going to turn around here and he's going to show us the crane. This is just a mess. The crane, I think he's gonna be behind the billboard over there. Now they attempt at times to kind of break the log jam of the garbage and the only reason why is because the garbage literally here when the water rises is lifted and the garbage litters the streets completely. It is so depressing for people that we've spoken to here, everyday Haitians, it makes them feel completely hopeless, as if nothing is ever going to change here. And in terms of the cholera outbreak itself, it really makes the job of the health professionals quite difficult. People are just dumping their waste wherever they can because no one ever picks it up and there's nowhere else to leave it. And then you can imagine how difficult it is in this environment to then find fresh water. In the months that, that continue to go on, we are going to be talking about this cholera outbreak. This is what you have to keep in mind, the garbage that continues to flow through this city. And we have no answers from the government or anywhere, anybody else as to why it isn't being picked up. Even earthquake shelters are right next to mountains of garbage. Heaps of food scraps, human waste, car parts, plastic, paper, batteries. You'll see everything except for a scrap of human dignity here. Don't you think that Haitians deserve better than this? It's... We, got, we get used to it. We get used to it. We go up, everybody go up for this country. We get used to it.